So, like, what does mush mean? Is it Alaskan for go? That's a good question, actually. I'm glad you. I'm glad you started the podcast today with an introspective question. Um, let's see. L- let me Google it. I thought it was funny. I just. I was just joking. I, it was like. No, if, I'm serious. Because like Alaska is like a different country. What does mush mean? <laughs> let's see. Um, okay. What does mush mean? Mush. <clears throat> mush. A soft, wet, pulpy mass. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't think that's the same mush. Hold on. So mush in dog sledding. Okay. Mush in dog words. The word likely came from the early French explorers and their word march, which means go or run. Okay. So you're right. So you heard it here first. But it's not Alaskan, it's French. No, it's Alaskan. <laughs> Those aren't the same thing? Alaska and France aren't the same country. Wait, stop playing with me. Is it... <laughs> <laughs> You're like genuinely looking. Is Alaska a country? What? what? Steel is heavier than feathers. <laughs> <laughs> What's heavier? A kilogram of steel <laughs> or a kilogram of feathers? <clears throat> you ever think like when the ice age happened, you could really just walk from Alaska to Russia from like the ice? Yeah. That's wild. What if you could do that now? I mean, that would take a long time to walk that far, but yeah. Nah, it'd take, like, a couple hours. That would not take a couple hours. Russia and Alaska are only, like, 50 miles apart. That's still not a... That, that, that is not 50 miles apart, is it? Yeah, it's like... It's not... It's it's pretty close. It would take less than a day. How far is Russia from Alaska? Let's this, see. This is fact-checking part two. That is 2,936 no, miles. No, see, look, it's... Distance from Alaska to Russia. No. That's where Russia is, Seth. No. I mean, like, I mean, like right, like that right like there. Like, coast to coast? Yeah, like, just, like, right in the, like, as close as you could possibly get. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you really see Russia from Alaska? Yes, but only the boring see, You part. can see it. It's close. Interesting. It's close. It's close. Yeah, that's pretty wild then. I mean, I wouldn't want to walk to Russia, but sure. Good for Alaskan people in the Ice Age. I mean, isn't that how Alaskans, like, migrated over here? I guess. I or, know. like, like Eskimos and stuff like that? Or, like, that's how people... No, Eskimos are Native Americans. Okay. Somebody came over through that the way. The Vikings, probably. Possibly? I don't remember. I don't. The public school system has failed me. I don't remember anything. Honestly, public school system kind of sucks. That, that's a really funny. Um, there's a really funny Office bit. I was watching The Office today, and uh, okay, I know you don't watch The Office, but Dwight, uh, he's the guy with the glasses. Yes. It's really funny. Um, so it was a, it was an episode, and they had to do a seminar about sexual harassment, and um, he, the dude from HR was like, "If you have any questions, I'll be in the back. Just uh, come and ask me." So he uh, Dwight goes back there. And he's like, um, you said we can ask a couple of questions. Um, where is the clitoris? <laughs> he was like, I read online. It's at the crest of the labia. What does that mean? It's really, <laughs> it's really, that's, funny. That's really funny. I love that show. It's really Have you, you should um, watch it. Have I, um? I forgot where I forgot where I was going with that. Oh, God, Seth, come I, that's on. That's completely gone. <laughs> that's completely gone. <laughs> it took gone. like a millisecond. <laughs> you were like, have you, um, oh, no, I have forgotten. <laughs> Have I what? I almost want to say I I I wasn't gonna say anything. I don't. What have I done? <laughs> have you? Uh, I, it was it was related to school, but I forgot. Have I um completed the tattoos that we want to get? Can we go get tattoos? Yeah. Um. The next one. I don't really want to get any big ones. I've got a tattoo. I've got one tattoo right now. For those of you who don't, it's know. a big. It's a big. Uh, it's a big penis on his butt. Yeah, I got a big penis <laughs> on my butt. <laughs> No, I'll, uh, I'll, <laughs> are you, are you, do you think that's funny, dude? <laughs> yeah, what if, what if you were, like, hanging out with a dude, and, like, his pants fell down, and he just had a big wiener on his butt, like, a, just, like, a really photorealistic, but it's like, like, tattoo. But it's, like, it's, like, a really buff dude, like, that you wouldn't expect, and he's got a big dick on his butt. I'll throw up a picture of my tattoo, boom. It's a, it, it, it's a good penis. Yeah, it's a nice penis, uh-huh. isn't it? Um, but no, so that's like as big as I really want to get it, is how big it is. Um, after that, I think I'm going to like, I think I'm just going to get smaller ones. Like, I want to get a Triforce somewhere. 
because I love me some Zelda. But I don't know where I would get it. I could get it on my ass. But <laughs> get it on like your neck. I'm not gonna get neck tattoos. Are you oh. insane? Oh. Well, there goes my idea. Well, I mean, I would get neck tattoos like in the maybe in the future if this were to kick off as a career and I didn't have to worry about how I looked in a business uh, like area. But uh. Okay. Well, I want to get bats going across my neck. I mean, that's pretty cool. Wouldn't that be awesome? Like, 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 <laughs> like, 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 right here, like. No. Okay. No. Idea. You get bats flying from your ass, <laughs> but it trails all the way up and goes into your ear. <laughs> So they're going in one cave. <laughs> they're coming out of one cave and going in the other. One body cave. I saw the... And I, I just mean, like, really, like, simple bats. Like, literally just, like, the shape of a bat. Yeah, so kind of like when you draw, like, how you Birds. draw a bird. Yeah. How it's just two little arches. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I guess I could see that. I saw one, though, when I was, I was doing research, and it was, like, it was, like, bats, but there was, like, stars and moons in the bats. Oh, cool. I thought that would have been really cool. I, I like I love tattoos. Um, I want to get many of them, but like I would probably get like half sleeves at 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 the least. Um, at some point, like I like with my tattoo, I want to turn it into like a space sleeve somehow. I don't know how, but I'm gonna do that eventually. I'll figure it out. I couldn't. I'm I'm too self conscious about my arms to get arm tattoos. But, like I don't want to get like giant ones, and I like even then like because I was saying like that's this one's like as big as I really want to go. I'm not gonna get anything huge, but like I don't know where I'm gonna get like a Triforce tattoo. Like maybe I was thinking my ankle. Your wrist. Eh, that's kind of. Mm. I was thinking maybe my ankle. Toes. Get a Triforce on every one of your toes. <laughs> get them on my fingers. <laughs> I'll spell cool. your mom gay <laughs> on my fingers on my knuckles. And then it when you one hand says no, the other hand says you. <laughs> that would be really funny. No, I. <laughs> I'm gonna be like that guy that got the that got the the hand. I, I what do you, what do you how do I describe this to to the people? The got him, the got him sign. Yeah, the, the got him. The, the, I want to be they like know that what guy I'm talking about. that got that on his leg. That thing that's really funny. Remember that post where it was like it was like day one of my pickle Rick laser removal tattoo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, it's like that's the funniest thing. He must have had that tattoo for like a month it's before so he got funny. it removed. Because I mean, Jesus, why would you ever? I would never get like a meme tattoo. I don't think. Unless it's like our meme. Unless it, it's like a joke we made. Or if it's Ugandan knuckles on my ass, then that's okay, right? I I can. Does fly someone with that, have right? that? That sounded no. really specific. No, I I think I made a joke when Ugandan knuckles was like starting to die out. I was like, I'm gonna get a tattoo of Ugandan knuckles on my ass. And then I was like, um, but he's like pointing at my asshole and it, it, it says, this is new A. <laughs> I what that is wrong point. with you? I don't know. I probably need counseling of some sort. <laughs> I mean, I want to, you said, you said when I go get my first tattoo, you want to come with me so you I can do. get another one. Yeah. Cause like, that would give me an excuse to go. Yeah. I want to. I want to get a big tiger on my back. Yeah, that's going to be a l- that's, that's going to be, be more than one. That's multiple trips right there. It's going to be yeah. And it's going to be expensive as hell. It's going to be expensive, yeah. Well, I mean, I want it like as big as my hand. I don't but I I guess I could wait until I get more money and make it huge. Yeah. Cuz that would be really cool. Um well, I don't cuz it depends on who you get. Like around here, the dude that um the dude that I got, he looked at my te- he looked at what I wanted. He did an appraisal. He was like, "How big do you want it?" And then I was like, "This big." And then he was like, okay, this is my, like, he gave me a flat fee. He was like, this is how much it's going to be. Um, I also kind of want, co- want mine in color, too. There's so. some of them that um, they'll, yeah, some of them will take into account, like, if it's color, how mm-hmm. long it's, or, but some of them just do it, like, by the hour. Like, my older brother, the guy that he got his his last tattoo, he got, like, a horseshoe crab on the back of his leg, which is pretty dope. Um, well, like, why? He likes horseshoe cra- He's a, he's a really into, he used to want to be, like, a marine uh, biologist, um, and he loves fish and all that kind of stuff. And fossils and the horseshoe pretty, crabs they're are pretty like, good band. They're like living. <laughs> um, I feel like we've made that joke like way too often. Um, for for neither of us listening to fish. Yeah, really. But the dude who he got his tattoo from, he charged like by the hour. He was like, yeah, it's gonna be like fifty or something like that per hour. See, I don't like that. I don't like that because then they could take longer intentionally. They could, but I doubt they would. I and I mean, if they take longer, then I mean, at least they're. At least I'm sure they're that they're doing a good time. job. I'd like to. I think I'd like to pay by the job. Yeah, it, it it really depends on what it is. If it's like a big one, I probably would more want to pay for the pay by the job. Mm-hmm. But I feel like at the same time, if they're paying by the hour, at least they're more inclined to do a better job. Because I guess yeah, they'd be taking more time. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
I, I it's more expensive, but I mean, eh. maybe it's not more expensive. Like mine would literally like the little Triforce. I don't want to get like a big one. I just want to get like a like a small Triforce somewhere. So I mean, that would take like maybe thirty minutes. I should get. Never mind. <laughs> Go ahead, say it. Say it. Don't be afraid. I should, I should get both of my balls tattooed as Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> or no, one Kirby and one Meta Knight. That'd be really funny, actually. You could do that. Wait, <laughs> no. Do it. I'm not Dude, gonna. scrotum tattoos probably hurt really badly. <laughs> I can't imagine they feel good. Because, like, mine wasn't so bad. It was just, like, because my arm was bent like this when I did it. So, like, this collarbone, right, or this, yeah. like, part of the bone, whenever you would hit that, that would really hurt. But, like, the rest of it, it, it just felt like a like a mild sunburn. Yeah, it's I, really people, not bad. people say people. I feel people are always like it's not that bad. I'm like, but again, this part of the arm is like the the meatiest. least painful. Yeah, it's all yeah. meaty. That's um, why if I got like a neck tattoo, I'm like that probably feels that, probably that would feel good. That it, shit probably hurts. It probably hurts really. I've bad. heard neck tattoos are really bad. Rib tattoos are one, some of the worst apparently. Because that that's right on the bone. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I thought think... I, I thought I separated my ribs earlier today. How would you do that? I was my back was bothering me, so I did like I did like a couple of like side to side like spine stretches, and like I felt like I felt like spreading right here, and it started hurting, and Ew. I was like I was like oh that's not good. <laughs> yeah, man. It's I, don't know. I think it just shocked me more than anything because it stopped hurting like after like a couple minutes. Interesting. My wrist has been hurting really badly for you like. You still haven't fixed that? No, well, I haven't gone to, to the, the doctor. doctor. I need to go to the doctor because it's it's impaired me from going to the gym for like a month now. And it's really bad, but I mean, at the same time, like, my laziness is, like, kicking in, and it's, like, it's giving me at least an excuse to not go to the gym, and that's, like, making me happy. No, see, like, I wish I had more time to work out, because I don't anymore. I have no time to work out anymore. I used to, well, my thing is, I used to work out after work all the time, but then work started keeping me really late, and especially, like, on school nights when I'm, like, man, if I go to the gym right now and go stay for at least an hour... I'm going to get home, and then I'm going to have, like, four hours Well, of see, sleep. like, I have this thing. I don't want to go to the gym when it's, like, late. I don't want to work out it. when it's late. I don't mind. Like, that's why if I get this new job, um, they close way earlier than my current job does, so I'd be able to get to the gym at a decent time. Uh -huh. um, and then I work out at home anyway. Not I be think, upset about it. I think gyms are stupid. It depends. I mean, really, it depends on what you're going for. I mean, how much do you want to yeah. invest? And, I mean, I don't mind investing, like, 10 bucks a month to go to Planet Fitness. I think it's fine. It's whatever. I mean, literally, all I do when I, I work out, I do just, like, body weight workouts. Like, yeah. everything, like, just me. Yeah. Well, I mean, what do you mean, like, just you? Like, well, I just do, like, pull-ups, sit-ups, push-ups, yeah. squats. I put both legs behind my head and walk on my hands. <laughs> 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 That'd probably be a workout. Stretch one leg behind my head and give myself fellatio. That's a that's a good workout. That's a workout right there. That's that's part of the the Saiyan body regimen. <laughs> Have you ever seen like those workouts online that are like get a body like Batman or like get no. a body like like a Saiyan and it's no. just like do ten sit ups, four reps, and then, what, it's like simple shit. Well, that's what I'm trying to. I mean, really, like if I was gonna get ripped, that's how I want to get ripped. I want to get like Vegeta ripped. Oh, dude, if I'm gonna get ripped, I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be broly. Well, yeah, like, I don't want to get like big muscles because. I'm so skinny, they would look weird. You know, I feel that. I'm not really, I'm not, like, crazy skinny. Well, you have, like, like, your arms are way bigger than mine. Yeah, they really are. But and they, like, were, they were starting to get pretty toned when I was working out, but yeah, I haven't Yeah, but my, arm, so my arms are, like, super toned. Like, you can, like, definitely see, like, the individual muscles and stuff. Well, that's because you're really skinny, and the skin just sticks right to the muscle that's there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I can't get, I, I, like, my problem is bulking up. Yeah. And it's probably because I don't eat enough. You should, like, definitely eat a lot, like, protein. Eat a lot of protein. And you will, like, eat a ton of protein, eat, like, a ton of calories per day, and Here, then burn it all off. Welcome to Workout Talks and High Fives. This is our fitness channel now. You can do it. You can get big. You can get tough. You can get ribs. Get fat ribs. Fat ribs from your jewel. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't stop making jewel jokes. I don't I think know they're... why you think it's... Because they're so fun. Because people that jewel are stupid. I, I mean... <laughs> sorry to anybody out there who jewels, but... <laughs> if, you, if you watch us while you're jeweling... Send us a picture. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Please. <laughs> or a video of you taking a fat rip while watching Real Talks 95s. <laughs> oh, oh, please that'd be, do. That'd be so funny. Just like... 
these guys are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're stupid. <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know why I think jewels are so funny. We've talked about the jewel thing before. Because it looks like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a Wii Remote. It does look kind of like a Wii Remote, and I do think that that's that, really funny. Have, have we talked about that video where the dude... <laughs> Where the dude goes around with the Wii remote oh, yeah, and like, at a pushes party. the A button and people try to like take hits off of it. <laughs> also, man, we missed a crucial opportunity. To what? The you know the uh the Nintendo Wii Shop, right? Uh huh. They like just got rid of that. What? So I was I wish I knew in advance because I would have bought we should have bought like a ton of like really low tier WiiWare games. Yeah, that would well, have been cool. I, they, the WiiWare the 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 shop is still up, but you can't buy Wii points anymore. No. So we missed a crucial opportunity. So you just buy it with your own money now? No, you can't. You can't. Bu- it's still there, but you can't buy anything. If you you can't add money. That's really weird. And then I they I think they're discontinuing the entire thing in like 2019. Oh. Well, that's because nobody plays the Wii anymore. But I think it would have been... Well, actually, that's not true. Grace does. She still plays the Wii. She, she like, hasn't got a, con- a new console in years. She still has a 360 and a Wii. Because, like, well, I just think we missed a crucial opportunity. Because have you seen how many WiiWare games there are? Yeah, There's them. so many, like, really bad ones. <laughs> and we could have spent... We could have bought, like, a bunch of them. Because once, you know, those games, are, those games are gone now. Get the office set up. Yeah. But, um, actually... I, I was over at her house the other day, and we played Smash on the Wii, and it made me really happy. It was really fun. Was it Project M? Don't talk to me unless it was Project M. It wasn't Project M. Oh, whack. Well, I guess we're going to break up now, so bye. Oh, well, later. Project bye. The show's over. Yep. Do you think they really walked away? <laughs> like, do you think they really thought it was over? <laughs> no, because obviously the video length is still going to go on for another Well, maybe maybe they think maybe they, they think it's at, like just the rest of its silence. So, I started a new job yesterday. Oh. You probably shouldn't say where, should you? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Well, I was going to talk about a coworker, so no. I started a new job, and I made a joke about the Avril Lavigne conspiracy, mm-hmm. and my coworker was like, yeah, and he, like, spouted all this info about it, and I was like, oh. <laughs> he <was> like, <laughs> yes, I'm well-versed. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I forgot what the girl's name he said. What was he like? He's like, do you know Megan? And I was like, what? And he was like, he was like the girl that replaced Avril Lavigne. And I was like, no, no, I can't say I do. Yeah, there was a, a lunch last, or it was like towards SOL time last year. Um, and I had like a lunch with like not people that I normally had lunch with. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just sat with one of my friends from public speaking. And, uh, and they talked about Avril Lavigne conspiracy. Yeah, they talked about, he talked about the Avril Lavigne conspiracy like the whole time. And it, I was very interested. I was, oh, I'd, sure it was. I was really into it. It was, it was, it's an interesting theory. We should do a video on it, even though it's kind of a dead theory at this point. Well, it's not a dead theory, but it's a dead meme at this point. Right? I, yeah, I I want to do, like, so many, like, stupid videos. Can we do theory videos, please? Yeah. I want to do, like, legitimate research well, and I do wanna, theories. Oh, I think that'd be super fun. Like, Timmy Thick, where are you? <laughs> I miss you. We can't talk about Timmy Thick two episodes in a row. Update on the Timmy Thick. He still hasn't tweeted. I miss him. <laughs> Timmy, it's, been, it's been seven days since Timmy Thick dropped off the face of the earth. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm lonely. Keep like a journal. A journal. I miss my thick boy. <laughs> I miss my thick boy too. I mean like <laughs> I, mean, I miss him. Dad. T H I C C B O Y S C me oh, in the I got, club got with it tatted on my chest. See me on the bus blowing sesh. Nothing we less. We do. That is a good song. I love Kyoto by Young. That's a really good song, yeah. For sure. I was actually listening to Jin- Ginseng Strip 2002 when I when I was on the way here. It's it's an interesting song. It's a really good song though. He, he's he's got such an interesting popping pills like zits while, while someone, someone vomits on your mosquito tits. Sliding wrist while dark evil spirits like Slytherin. Slytherin with me. I'm sick as a trip. Makes my spitting sick and makes me start hitting chicks. Calm down. Man, but I was also <coughs> listening... I was listening to uh, Flatbush Zombies on the way over. They are okay. I really like their voices. Yeah, I, I, I'm really into it. Um, Their their beats are just, like, they're just okay, <laughs> but, bad. like... Um, yeah. Like, and they're... Oops. Ooh. And that's gonna happen last when we get the office out. Yeah, and we almost... We got table. Yeah. We got... We got tons of stuff ready. But, um... Yeah, I like, um... Uh, Michi Darko. And I, I hate... I like how, what voice. is it, three guys? 
He has three dudes. Then there's, I don't like how there's one guy who's obviously way better than the other two. He's like a much better rapper. What, describe his voice, because you can tell the difference between all three of their voices. He's got like the... Yeah, the, re- the really raspy voice? Yeah. Yeah, that's Michi Dark. Yeah, he's obviously way better rapper. He's a way better he's rapper really good. than the other two. There's a song called Bounce. I gotta play it for you Um, after... I think this. I've heard it. Because his... I like his verse on it a lot. He's really good. Because he's, he's like... He's like leagues above the other two well, rappers. I don't know, because Zombie Juice is really good. He's got like the lighter voice. And then uh, there's the other, there's the third guy. I God, I can't remember his there's name. There's a guy. There's a guy who talks like really nasally. Yeah, I think that's that's the third guy. I think because I, I for some reason I can only I can only remember Zombie Juice and Michi, but I can't remember the third guy's name. It's been like a while since I, I got like really into Flatbush Zombies for a little bit, and I can't remember their names. I think they're just okay. I mean, I need to listen like more. Them. I haven't listened like that much. Yeah, Bounce is like one of my favorite songs by them. That's that's actually on Spotify. Yeah. Because a lot of their stuff or a lot of their older stuff is on SoundCloud and not on Spotify, which is upsetting. Which also brings me to a weird thing: how um ex boyfriend by Lil Dicky was on Spotify for like a month and then it's not on Spotify anymore for some really? reason. Really? Yeah. That's weird. It was like well actually no it was like a week or two after it came out on Spotify it disappeared and I was I, like why is it not I, here anymore? I, I sent you that I was like I was like there's a new Lil Dicky song you're like it's not new it's been on SoundCloud. Yeah, that, that was like his first song. Like ever, that's what made him like famous. Oh, was that song? Well, his it was it was a pretty good song. It like it got, it hit like a couple million like views on YouTube in like a couple of days. It was like it went viral. It was um, it was it was something interesting. Something it was new. It's a funny song, and the the music video is funny too. I never saw the music video, but I, the song was pretty good. Yeah, I really hope that he's dropped some new some better new stuff. Lil Dicky's always very really been lukewarm to me. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Well, like when we were in like what freshman year professional rapper came out yeah. and i was like this is so funny and then i listened to it like again and i was like oh this really is just okay yeah, it's pretty f- and he's good I, like i've talked about little dicky before and how i like his singles and his like his uh his other stuff way more than i like the stuff that was on professional rapper professional rapper like molly is a good song um that's pillow, the one with pillow Brandon talking's Harry. great pillow talking's a masterpiece yeah um just be- i love the concept of it and it's it's, it's a great... It's really it's funny. interesting. It's really good. It's funny. Um, and then, like, some of his other songs, I don't like... Let Me Freak was good, but, like, it kind of... When you listen to it too much, it just kind of loses its touch. Um, and the same with, like, Professional Rapper, the, like, the song off the album. Yeah. Um, it's, like, not bad. But, like, his other stuff, his singles, The Gumption, Free Bread at the Outback, um, there's another one that I can't remember the name of it, but he's got, like, really good singles that are, like, fire. Like, he, he spits the hot for you on those so I mean eh, it's weird they're like a completely different vibe they're not like funny they're like just actual good rap songs um stop your tongue is like what happened to your tongue what it's what like really dry oh how has it like the crack on it yeah I don't know what that's from it's and it's like really white yeah I don't know why is that something that, is it always like that yeah yeah it's been like that forever it's probably not, yeah. I mean, I brush it. I vigorously brush my tongue, like, every day. Maybe that's what it is. Because you're supposed to brush your tongue, but you probably shouldn't vigorously brush. You're going to brush your te- like your taste buds off. No, I mean, I don't mean, like, ah. I just mean, like, <laughs> like very. You don't deep throat your, your toothbrush and. Oh. I usually try to get, like, really, like, the back of my throat. Interesting. I don't. I get, like, the back of my teeth. I get all the way back to the wisdom teeth and everything. Well, I can, like, I can, like, feel, like, when I have, like, when the back of my throat is, like, dirty. So, like, I try to, that's like. That's what mouthwash is for. I don't have mouthwash. <laughs> Neither do I. But that's what it's for. Well, I think it's because I, you know, I drink chocolate milk in the morning. Yeah. And milk is very thick. Mm-hmm. So it always leaves, like, it's going to get really gross. It always leaves, like, gunk in the back of your throat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess. Like, it's, I don't know. makes you phlegmy. Brushing teeth is weird because it's, like, I do it all the time, but then I, like, see movies where everybody's, like, they brush, then they floss, and then they do mouthwash, and then, and then, like, it's just, like, this it's weird It's such a routine. big process. And I'm just, like, I just brush my teeth. Yeah. I floss sometimes. I never floss. I... It's such a hard habit to get into. It like really it takes so much time. Well, and it takes so much technique. And it, uh, they say like it takes like what twenty times for something to become a habit. Yeah. Um. So I try. I was like, you know, I, I went in with that mentality. I was like, I'm gonna at least do. I'm gonna do this for twenty days straight, and then it'll be a habit. And then I made it to like day like fifteen, and then I stopped. I've I I floss like consistently. It's just because like, for some reason the dental floss always disappears in my bathroom. Because, like, I'll set it right next to the toothbrush and the toothpaste, and then I'll come in the next day and it's gone. And I'm just like, where are my flaws? Dude, that's why I hide my tooth. That's why I hide my toothbrush. Why do you hide it? Well, I also don't like it in, like, the open air. 
Yeah, I guess that's kind of gross. Yeah, it's especially I keep because it in a drawer. My my brothers, they don't. It's gonna get. It's gonna get gross. So trigger warning. Um, but I share a bathroom with my two brothers. One of them is older than me. One of them is younger than me. I'm the middle child, and neither of them flush. And like, they're. It's really weird. It's like my older brother is like, it's conserving water. I'm like, you don't give a shit about the water bill. You don't pay the water. You're just lazy as shit, dude. Like, don't even front. Um, and like, same with my little brother. But like, so, and like, if you leave the toilet seat up, that like stuff like evaporates and then gets on stuff and makes things gross. That's how science works, Seth. Well, that was really loud. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I, um, I'm over here like leaving my toothbrush out. With their not flushing asses, and I'm probably getting pissed on my toothbrush. It's like not. I don't like it. I um, what I do is I, I put like, like the main like the main toilet seat down before yeah. I flush. Yeah, that's that's what you should do, guys. If mm-hmm. that's not what you're doing, that's definitely what you should do. That's healthy. That's the healthy way to do it. You all are gross. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if you're not if you're not putting like if you're because like when you flush like the it splashes up. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Not okay at all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this before before it's over. I um, I was playing Fortnite Mobile, and I and I always I always like when Fortnite Mobile came out, I was like, yes, now I can now I can play Fortnite while I'm taking a shit and win, and then it happened. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was the other it was like, geez, was that yes yeah that was yesterday. I was I was it was before my shower. I was um I was in the bathroom and I was playing Fortnite and I was I was taking a dump. And I won while I was taking a shit. And I felt happy about it. But during that same shit, I don't know how, but, like, it came out with such pressure that somehow water came up between my legs. Like, a droplet <laughs> come, comes up between my legs. And it, like, like lands on the floor. And I was like, huh! <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to leave you all with that. I, I'm speechless. Have a good day, everybody. Um, that's the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. We love you. Like. We love you. Bye.